Hey, Richie Castellano here. Today, I'm going to take a little break from the music stuff on this channel and do a little more 3D animation. This is, it's all related because this is for my my musical, my sci-fi musical, the animated movie I'm working on. And right now, I'm in Reillusion iClone 7, which is the animation software I'm using to make this movie. And what I'm trying to do is have a space background, but not just a really static dead looking space background. I want something that has a little bit of motion and life to it. And I've been having trouble figuring out how to do that, but I just stumbled on it and I'm really making this video as a reminder to myself. So if I forget the steps, I can watch this and hopefully it will help someone else who's trying to do the same thing. So here's the way I make a cool uh, space background with some motion in it. So I have a default project here and I've imported this really cool spaceport model that I got from CG Trader from an artist called Embellic. Check him out. It looks great. I have the textures assigned. There's a little bit of glow to it. It looks fantastic. The first thing I want to do is go over to the scene and turn off all the lights. So these little white dots will do that just to see what I'm working with. So there it is. The prop is not lit anymore. And I'm going to import a sky. So we'll go to content prop sky and I'll do the first one clear day so obviously that's not what we want we want a space background not a clear sky but we need to do this first but I want to point something out to you here are the sky settings here on the side now if you'll notice move rotate and scale are all white that means they can't be keyframed or automated usually when something could be keyframed it's green, and none of these settings can be moved. You can move stuff over in the texture settings, strength and self-illumination, but strength, that really doesn't do anything for us. I mean, to be able to automate that, that's not what I'm looking for. It's cool, but not the right thing. So how do we do this? Well, we're going to go over to Visual, and we're going to scroll down. Right now I have everything off. I have fog off, HDR off. And we're going to activate IBL, which is already on here. And I have this, one of the default images, the hall, which is a really warm image. And just to show you what IBL does, image-based lighting, it lights objects based on the lighting content of this image. So if I bring this up, you'll see the prop is getting this kind of warm, orangey light on it because that's what's coming from this image. So we'll turn that back down. What I want to do is I want to put a space image here. So I went to Adobe Stock and I bought this really nice looking panoramic 360 degree space image. And there we go. So now if I raise the strength on the IBL, you'll see it has this really cool blue lighting because it's picking up the lights from this image. But I still have this clear day sky here, which is no good. So I'm going to scroll down, and where it says Sync Sky, I'm going to click Image. All right, there you go. Now we have the sky. Okay, something interesting down here. With the IBL Transform, we have this thing called Rotate IBL. Rotate IBL is awesome because you can pick which part of the image you want to show on your object, your prop here. So I'll raise the strength all the way up just to show you what it does. So rotate IBL, so I can actually, you see how it gets darker and lighter? I'm picking different parts of that image to light this prop with. But now, let me reset this. What I'm going to do is I'm going to sync sky orientation, right? So now when I scroll back down to rotate IBL here, or shift I, it will actually move the entire sky. But there's a bit of a problem because this looks washier than my image. It's all washed out. And I think that's because there's some sort of doubling going on here. Well, to get rid of that, you just uncheck image. And that, that's sort of the, the hack here. You have to check image and uncheck it. And now if I go back down to rotate IBL, I can still rotate the sky. Now, there's another bit of a problem, and you guys could probably see it this image is a little squashed. So if you want to fix that, you got to go back to sky, hit this texture panel over here and play with the tiling. Like for example, maybe I'll do 
1.1. And that made things look a little rounder. And then I could pick a nice spot to start. Let's say that. Let's say we want to start here. Okay, back to visuals. Now, because all of these parameters, move, rotate, and scale, are green, that means they can be keyframed. So rather than just have this sort of lifeless-looking background of the stars staying very still, what we can do is I can move the timeline up, let's say 400 frames, and I can rotate this a little bit. And now when I press play, it's got a little rotation. That's probably too fast, but that's no problem just to do that. To fix that, you just move that keyframe later. And now it's got a bit of a, a movement to it. I'll go even slower just to make it even more subtle. There we go. So now we're moving that image and making it look like it's alive. So that's the way I'm doing it. I hope this video was helpful to someone. I know I'm going to keep watching this every time I need to make a space dome. So thanks for watching. If this was helpful, like and subscribe. And uh, I'll be doing more music stuff soon. This is, uh, the, this is all related. Everything's related to music in some way. And this is part of my musical project. So I hope you're enjoying watching the progress as I'm going. So thanks, guys. See you next time.